Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we will be going through everything you need to know about Apple Notes in iPadOS 16. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Apple Notes is a free note-taking app for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Its web version is terrible and unusable. If you're interested in learning more about using Apple Notes, we have a free course for it on our other channel, Paperless Humans. Make sure to subscribe to that channel so you don't miss out any upcoming episodes covering all the different aspects of the app from beginner to advanced level. Creating a new note is simple. Apple Notes has three basic page templates. Your lined and squared papers each have three line spacing options. We're still waiting for a narrower option. The first few words you write or type become the notebook's title, which we've grown to appreciate. In Apple Notes, you can type or scribble your body text. Body text is the text that goes directly on the page and does not mix with any other items in your notes. You can structure it with titles, headings, and subheadings. Apple Notes supports one font only, which you can monospace. On the iPad, you don't have a lot of options for your body text font. You can't change its color, type, or size, which is very limiting. You can, however, format it to make it bold, italic, underline, or strike out. You can also add numbered and unnumbered lists. An effective list varies the bullets when you add levels to your lists. Sadly, in Apple Notes, only your unnumbered lists have that. Interactive checklists in Apple Notes are simple. They still don't strike out your completed lists, and we're tired of complaining about it. Not many note-taking apps support tables. It's the one reason to consider using Apple Notes. This feature hasn't developed much over the years, and adding new rows and columns still feels like too much work for digital note-taking. You can also handwrite your notes in Apple Notes using a pen or pencil tool. The app now has several pen types, another ballpoint, a calligraphy pen. You also get a watercolor brush, which is awesome. All these tools have five fixed thicknesses and you can adjust their opacity. They're all raster ink, which pixelates when you zoom in. In 2023, that is simply unacceptable. Using custom colors is still a pain in Apple Notes because we still can't replace the five default colors on the toolbar. Otherwise, the handwriting experience is amazing with accurate handwriting representation, no lag, and perfect palm rejection. The highlighter in Apple Notes goes behind your ink so it doesn't dim your notes at 100% opacity or when layered. It has five fixed sizes and uses the same color palette as the pen tool. The eraser tool can erase per pixel or stroke. Your pixel eraser now has five fixed sizes and no longer automatically adjusts its size when you tilt your Apple Pencil tip. 
Hempel Knot still does not support irregular shapes. We are now tired of using the ruler tool to draw them. Our regular shapes are also still limited, but at least now we can adjust, resize, and rotate them. You can also pick a border color, change the border thickness, add a fill color, and adjust the opacity of the shape, its border, and fill. You could choose to adjust all of them or separately. You can take a photo with your iPad camera or add one from the photos library. We can finally mix our photos with handwriting and the app now supports PNG images. You can resize and rotate your photos, which is awesome. We are now waiting for the cropping feature for our photos in the app. Your videos and scans remain blocked though, which means you can't mix them with handwriting or text. For videos, you have playback options to slow down or speed up the video. Live text works on the videos as well, so you can easily copy text out of them. Picture in picture is still not supported for video playback in Apple Notes, and we look forward to having it. Text boxes can mix with your handwriting have more formatting options than body text, and support custom fonts. You can change the font size and color, as well as the text alignment. You can also rotate them, which is awesome. The lasso tool in Apple Notes can now pick up everything on the page. Let's take a moment to appreciate that. The app still has to work on how it presents the selected sections though. It's a bit confusing. You can also pick up items separately. So just your handwriting only, images only, or text boxes only. For your handwriting, you can straighten it out, which has been a hit and miss every time we've tried it. Inserting space between items is very easy in Apple Notes always has been. Now that we can select everything on our pages, let's hope we'll be able to resize these selections in the future. Apple's unique approach to OCR does not convert your handwriting to text. It does a lot of things with your handwriting though, which deserves a dedicated video. Data detection recognizes addresses, phone numbers, dates, and emails so you can take action on them. It works on text, photos, and handwritten notes alike. You can add to-dos to Apple Reminders and events to Apple Calendar without leaving Apple Notes. The app supports True Dark Mode, which automatically switches all your app colors when you use Dark Mode. Multiple instances lets you multitask in the app, allowing you to open the app twice and even the same notebook twice. You can also customize the toolbar, though it's currently limited to just four icons. We we'll look forward to having this for all the icons in the app. Apple Notes searches through your handwriting and text. We're happy to see that the app now highlights handwritten results too. The best way to share your notes with others in Apple Notes is to collaborate on them. You can collaborate on notebooks or folders and you control the permissions for your collaborators. Exporting your notes from any note-taking app is never a good idea. More so for Apple Notes because the app uses raster ink, which looks blurry and pixelated when you zoom in on it in other apps. And it also cuts off your pages at the most inconvenient places. Universal Search searches through all the folders in your app. 
and you can filter your search to focus on nodes with certain characteristics. The minimalist user interface makes switching between different nodes easy and quick. You can pin notes that you use often at the top of a folder. The app also lets you lock important documents, but there are too many limitations on the notebooks we can lock. It kind of makes the feature useless. Apple Notes supports five levels of folders within folders. It's enough for most note taking needs. Tags also help you organize your notes as well. And using a number of filters, you can create smart folders that automatically organize your notes according to the criteria you set. Our note for challenge for Apple Notes proved that Apple Notes is now a serious note taking app. It is free, yet it packs almost everything a note taker would need. There is still room for improvement, but who would seriously consider Apple Notes before purchasing a third party note taking app? What do you guys think about Apple Notes in iPadOS 16? Let us know in the comment section down below. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let us know what other videos you would like us to cover on this channel. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.